oh dear, nobody can hear me out here anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm here on the western edge of Dartmoor this morning. Um, I'm here to photograph Widgery Cross, which is up on the top of um, Brat Tor, directly ahead of me. It's a great day. I'm freezing cold, um, but it should be a good shoot. I'm going to cover a few topics um, in this little vlog this morning. The first one is um, exposure margin in, in Photoshop later on. Um, I'll show you how to do this and how to use the histogram function. Um, secondly, I want to cover how to put uh, a figure um, in your image. Um, one, to give it a sense of scale. Two, um, saleability. Um, I've got my uh, orange jacket with me, which I shall don later on. Um, but for now, I need to uh, tackle that hill in front of me. So hopefully um, I'll have some breath left when I get back to the top. See you soon. Right, I've set this shot up here. Um, you can see straight away that there's lots of highlights and shadow detail all over the all over the frame. So um, straight away, it's it's impossible to use a, a grad filter to to kind of graduate this um, because it's all over the place. So this is one of those situations where I would um, shoot multiple exposures to to blend later on in in Photoshop. Um, so let's um, first of all get the this is the the live histogram here. So I keep pressing my info button. This is a Canon 6D. Now, when I bring my histogram up, you can see instantly that it's split. So I've got the the left hand side of the histogram is my shadow detail, the right hand side is my highlight detail with a bridge between the two of um, mid-tone detail. Um, now this split and exposure obviously means basically translates that you can't you can't record the whole thing in one frame. So hence having to shoot multiple exposures and then blend them together later on. So my exposure is f16. I'm going to keep that aperture the same throughout this um, technique uh, and then just change the shutter speed. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to record my shadow detail, which is this left hand portion. So I'm going to increase my exposure. You can see it's increasing up. I'm pushing that information over to the right, not too far, just enough to give me some detail in these shadow areas there. So I'll then take that shot. There we go, and you can see straight away that uh, all the highlight details blown out. It looks awful, but I'm not worried about that because I'm not going to be using that. Back into the histogram, and then I'm going to go the other way. And I'm watching this right-hand portion, which is the highlight detail. So watch my sky there. So I'm bringing that as far over as I can, not too far again, but enough to give it some nice exposure without blowing out the highlights. And there we go. Take that shot. My last frame is my mid-tone detail, which is this bridge between the two. Now again, I'm going to push that over to the right-hand side, just past the sort of centre point of your histogram there, just to give you enough detail in these mid-tones. And again, take that picture. So if I go back into the playback, we've got my mid-tone detail image, my highlight image, and my shadow detail image. So I can basically blend all three of those together to create the one shot. Was this a costume change? No, not quite. Um, I've donned my bright coloured orange jacket for, uh, 
for a purpose. Um, I'm going to take some shots here now with uh, adding myself in the frame, adding some human interest. Um, it always works best if you're wearing a bright coloured jacket, something that contrasts with the landscape. Um, I'm going to stand up on the rock behind me here um, and adopt a pose. <laughs> Such fun. Right, well that's uh, kind of worked, but um, to be honest, in my mind I've been thinking where um, where I started off this morning, across the stepping stones. Um, I shot there years ago, um, very similar sort of picture, so I think I'm going to go back down there, um, finish this morning's shoot off with some um, pictures of me walking across the stepping stones. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. God, that hair. Um, so I'm back at the stepping stones over here. Um, sunlight's beautiful at the moment. Uh, nice side lighting coming across. So I've still got my trusty orange jacket on. So I'm going to do a couple of frames walking backwards and forwards against the steps. Um, I'm going to play around with some shutter speeds to get some blur as well. A blurry figure coming through the stones. Um, See if these work out. Well, that just about wraps it up for today. Had a great morning. Got some fantastic shots. See what you think of these. starving hungry. Time to go for breakfast and a pony and trap. I'll see you next time. <laughs>